What's up everybody, Speaker here, welcome back to the channel. Um, here's a new video on how to install Daisy mods, and uh, this time we're not going to use Daisy Launcher to download the mods, because apparently it's completely shit the bed. Um, it works for pretty much nobody anymore, uh, as far as downloading mods go, and even for me, I can't get it to work properly, so uh, fuck it. <laughs> so this is how you do it manually. We're still going to use Daisy Launcher to connect to the servers, but otherwise all the rest we're going to be downloading via torrents, and uh, I'm going to show you exactly how it's done right now. You guys are going to need three different programs to be able to do this tutorial properly. First of all, Daisy Launcher, to be able to connect to servers. BitTorrent, secondly, to download the mod files, or the mod torrent files. And WinRAR, to be able to decompress all of those files that we will have downloaded. Um, if you have equivalents for BitTorrent and WinRAR, that's totally fine. Um, whatever floats your boat, as long as it does the same thing. Links in description. First thing first, you need Armor 2 and Armor 2 Operation Arrowhead to be able to play any of the Daisy mods. They have to be installed and launched at least once before we can start installing mods or anything of the sort. Also, if you have British Armed Forces or Private Military Company DLCs, uh, any other DLC actually, they also have to be installed before we can start playing around with mods. Everything has to be launched at least once before we can continue, this is extremely important. It will not work if you do not do this, so make sure you did this properly. So this is the CCG forums, they make servers and stuff, so uh, yeah, they have several links that you can use to download several different kinds of Daisy mods. Um, for Origins, well, here's a, here's a link to access the Origins mod. It's actually one that I installed myself just recently to test out that what I was saying actually works properly. So I can certify that it does. And for the original Daisy mod, you can just use Steam, actually. Daisy mod is apparently kept pretty well up to date. And uh, yeah, just use that. It's pretty simple. Now let's pretend that you want to play Daisy Origins. And to play Epoch or Overpoch or Overwatch, it's the exact same thing. You click on the link to download it. It's going to open up this thingy. Click on that and it should open it up in BitTorrent. You just click, well, you won't have this message because I already have it there, but you just let it do its thing and it will download the mod completely. Once it's finished, just double click on that. It's gonna ask you if you're sure you wanna open it up that it could harm your computer. No, it's not gonna harm your computer. I can, I fucking assure you that it won't. It's a mod, that's why it's flipping out. Just press continue and you wanna double click on this archive file here and that's gonna open it up in WinRAR. Okay, really important step that you cannot forget. Um, you need to go into wherever your Armor 2 is installed. And you need to go and find a folder called Add-ons. You need to right click on that and click on Copy. Now you go back and go into Armor 2 Operation Arrowhead folder. Then simply paste that folder that we just copied. This is super important and um, you will get error messages and weird shit if you don't do it. Okay, now go back and open up WinRAR where you have your origins folders just waiting to be extracted. And you need to open up Armor 2 Operation Arrowhead folder. Uh, exactly where we were before, where we pasted the add-ons folder, right? Uh, it's usually Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Armor 2 Operation Arrowhead if you download it on Steam. Right, all we have to do is drag um, the origins folder into the Armor 2 Operation Arrowhead folder. It's that simple. That's all we have to do. And there's one more thing though with this origins one is that you have to add the 1795. That's the version number. So just rename it, add the 1795, and that's it. Now I get that it's kind of confusing understanding why some of these folders are named the way they are. It seems to be pretty random, actually, to tell you the truth. Sometimes it's a lowercase z, sometimes it's a capital Z, sometimes you got the version number behind it. I really can't find much logic behind it, to tell you the truth. Um, just try to follow this example. Um, if you downloaded a mod and it it was called something weird in the beginning, just check out this video, see what it's called in my folder, and try to rename it as so. Um, of course, the version number uh, it may change in the future, depending on the version. So now we need to open up Daisy Launcher. Yes, motherfucking Daisy Launcher. First thing you want to do is check out how laggy the damn thing is. 
Yeah. And then go under settings and uh, you need to make sure that the mod download path is correct. It should be the same thing as your um, Operation Arrowhead path where we extracted Origins before. Same goes with Arma 2. Um, that needs to be correct. And uh, once again, Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead path. All these things need to be correct. Click save, exit out of the game. Of the game, fucking daisy launcher. Then go back in. And normally, if we go on mods now, Origins that we just downloaded should be there. And yes, it is. It says that it's corrupted, but that's just because Daisy Launcher is acting like a little bitch. Anyway, it should work properly. If we go under servers now, and this is why we're using Daisy Launcher, is to be able to connect to specific servers. Um, filter it out. Let's look for a Daisy Origins one. And uh, yeah, see? Full list of Daisy Origins servers. There you go, and this of course works for all other mods. So if you wanted to play Overpock, for example, all you have to do is install Epoch and Overwatch in the exact same fashion that we just installed Origins. Extract them into the Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead folder, do the whole Daisy launcher thing, and you should be good to go. The main things that you need to pay very, very careful attention to is how you name those uh, mod folders inside of Operation Arrowhead. Just make sure that they look like mine. And also make sure that if you do have a problem, to first verify the integrity of game cache through Steam on Operation Arrowhead and Arma 2. Make sure that you copied the add-ons folder also from Arma 2 into the Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead folder and you should pretty much be good to go. Of course, if you have any questions, suggestions, anything at all, leave them down in the comments below. I'm here to help. I will respond to the best of my ability, like I did with the previous tutorial video. Um, that's now pretty much obsolete, I guess. <laughs> um, of course, thanks very much for watching. Leave a like if this was useful for you, and um, please, subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, all that kind of stuff if you want to follow more of this daisiness and uh, for regular videos, tutorials, and all that kind of crap. Right, thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, Speaker signing off.